Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today with another video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. This is an idea that I had that I wanted to try out. In the future, it'll be a little bit more complex as, uh, you know, if I see if you guys like it or not. But uh, today we're going to be recreating a commercial. A lot of the things you see on TV, you know, people get paid a ton of money to do. When they're really not all that hard, most of them are pretty simple. Like I said, this one's simple. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've all seen this ad before. It might have even played on uh, before this video, so... Uh, we'll show you which ad it is. It's the it's the, the cringy Google one, but uh, we're just gonna make it remake it really quick. It's quite simple to make. A very small amount of like motion graphics type thing going on, but nonetheless, it should be pretty quick. All right, so uh, we'll do it step by step, and the video will be cut up just so you guys see the main the main events. You don't need to be here for all. However long this takes me to remake, I'll let you know how long this one took me to to reproduce exactly. We'll try, but yeah, I'll see you guys back in a little bit when I've made a little bit of progress. All right, so we're back with our first update. So step one for me was going to be finding the right font that they that they use here for their text. So one thing that was a dead giveaway for their font for me was uh, their H. The lowercase H goes above the W how high up the dot on the I is and that the S's kind of curve all the way around and up. Uh, I was looking to see if I already had the font and this one looked kind of similar. This is just, what was that, CGO UI I think that comes with most computers. But the, the S's were really off which is kind of bothering me so I looked it up online. All you had to, yeah I was listening to the Lion King, don't, <laughs> don't judge me. But uh, I just typed Google fonts and it takes you to a website called fonts.google and uh, it was actually the first one you can see the s's are the same the eyes go up pretty high i think i think this is the right one i haven't actually had a chance to look at it yet but uh they have a ton of fonts on here if you if you need some and then so all you have to do is click on it select this font by hitting this arrow or the plus sign and then come down here and you can download them for free which is really really nice and then uh once you download it you know, you extract the files and then it comes with a whole bunch. If you just select them all, right click and then hit install, you can install them all at once. So I actually have to restart my After Effects now to get these new fonts to load in. So we'll be back when we hit some more progress. All right, so now uh, what I ended up finishing was I just made the search bar with the text pop up on it. I timed it up in a separate pre composition. That way, when I added it to the, um, the I guess, the remake composition, the text was already synced up and I didn't have to add that in manually and plus I knew the text bar or the search bar excuse me moves up and down and stuff so I didn't want to have to worry about keyframing two different layers so to make the search bar it's obviously just a white solid that's masked and then um, instead of the, go the Google logo I put my own there and uh, redid the mic with uh, matching colors to my logo so I just put my logo in a different composition as well as the mic and just uh, masked around some solids to make the mic Last up, we're going to make this, uh, let me talk a little, I guess, the information here down at the bottom. And uh, after that, just add a clip in the background and we'll be pretty much done. And this is the little end screen. That's pretty easy to make. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so we just finished up making this little info section. So once again, just a lot of solid layers that I masked out. Uh, just to make sure they fit in well. Changed up the info obviously so it's not the same. Uh, made it relevant if you know what I mean. The Let's see here. The last thing we're going to do is um, do this end screen here. So all I got to do is uh, make the solid come up from the back. Put the logo back in. Um, let's see here. This white background is conflicting with the logo a little bit because one of my colors is really light. So I might make this black, you know, we'll change it up a little bit. But nonetheless, it'll look pretty much the same. And uh, once we have that, I'll just toss in the back. And uh, I'll probably have one more speaking clip before the end. But anyway, we'll uh, get back to you in a second. All right, guys. So we're finally done now. Finished up the last little end screen. Added the text, the, the text animation, as well as the, the logo there. Uh, this is a different kind of video that I had the idea to do. And uh, I'd like to do more if you guys want to see more. Uh, if you have any suggestions for different ads you want me to do or even you know remaking edits anything like that nothing's really off limits make sure you leave it down in the comments below and i'll be sure to check it out uh but other than that guys make sure you know you do what the ad says and like the video it's much appreciated if you didn't like the video give it a dislike let me know why but anyway guys i'm gonna let the the ad play after i rendered it out at the end here but 
I've been Soren, and I'm out. Thank you.